Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at using the SharePoint Recycle Bin. Uh, we're going to first be looking at actually deleting uh, documents and other items in SharePoint and then how to use the Recycle Bin to recover the items that were deleted. So I've got my uh, demo SharePoint here and I'm going to come over to Documents. And I have a few documents here. Uh, I'm just going to select a few at random and uh, come up to Files in the top toolbar or ribbon. And you'll notice I have an option here to delete document. That's going to prompt me and uh, ask me if I'm sure I want to send the items to the site recycle bin. And hitting OK will simply delete the items. Another way uh, to delete an item is to right click on the item itself and uh, I've got a nice delete option here which is going to again give me the same prompt and delete the item. And uh, finally a nice and easy way is to actually just select the item and hit the delete button on your keyboard which will again allow you to delete the item. Now this isn't limited down just to anything in a document library. Uh, it can actually be uh, pictures, calendars, uh, events, tasks, pretty much anything in SharePoint can be deleted in this same way and then later restored via the recycle bin. So now that I've deleted these items, what I want to do is actually come into my recycle bin. Now depending on your particular setup, you may actually see recycle bin on the left hand side. Uh, I don't, so what I'm going to do is select the cogwheel up the top and go to Site Contents. And now I'll have the option for Recycle Bin. And you can actually see it has five items in it at the moment. So I'm just going to select a Recycle Bin. And now you can see uh, all of those items we just deleted earlier. Uh, so you can come and select individual items uh, or select the checkbox up the top which will select all uh, and then you can either go to restore selection or delete selection. So delete selection will actually purge these items out of the recycle bin and the user will no longer be able to restore the items. Uh, the items can still be restored via your SharePoint administrator, uh, but the user themselves won't have access to restore these files. Uh, for this instance, I'm just going to go to Restore Selection. It's going to ask me if I'm sure, and I'll just hit OK. And depending on how much or how many files you're restoring, this might take a moment. And now you can see I'm back in the recycle bin, and there are no items to display. If I come back to my document library, we should now see all of those files restored and back in here. Okay, and uh, all those files are now back here for access, and uh, you'll notice the modified dates have remained the same, uh, as well as the user, so nothing's really changed, it's just the file was uh, deleted, and then later restored using the recycle bin. As you can see, it's quite easy to uh, delete items and then restore it, uh, so SharePoint makes it um, quite accessible for the user without too much intervention from your administrator. So that's been working with the Recycle Bin and SharePoint. Thank you very much for joining me and have a great day.